Hey guys, this is your girl Alicia Pink and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So let's get into it guys. It is a new moon in Pisces and y'all already know I'm excited because Pisces is my sun sign and it is also my rising sign. So woo child. <laughs> you know the Pisces is ruled by the planet of um, Neptune and Jupiter you know um and you know pisces we are very sensitive creatures we are um very intuitive natural born psychics and um yeah it's also mercury retrograde so you already know woo child a lot of people gonna be in their feelings a lot of things they're gonna go too well but it's all right you know um don't let that astray you because you can most definitely still manifest tomorrow even today um you can still do your new moon rituals you know i personally like to script at night on the new moon and I love taking, I'm taking a spiritual bath as well. And um, pulling my cards, see what spirit has message for me. You know, also just um, meditating. Um, seeing what downloads I can get, see what questions I can get answers, see what visions I can see. You know, I feel like tomorrow is most definitely the night because like I said, Pisces are very intuitive, natural born psychic. So this is most definitely the time to tap in your psychic abilities. Um, and it is the time to ask your guides and your ancestors and like what energies that is surrounding me what messages you want me to download um you can do your shadow work tomorrow as well um a lot of things you can do you know while this new moon is in pisces tap into your creativity side as well as your work with work with your manifestation write things down you know when you write things down on a piece of paper shit gets real okay so <laughs> write it down um write it down tell the universe okay be very very specific tell the universe this is what i want okay i'm putting my request in Okay, I'm putting my order in. I'm putting my Amazon order in. And I plan on receiving my package either the next day or the day after. Whatever, you know. And don't think about it. Let it go. You know, because we have to not think about what we manifest. We need to write it down and forget about it. And that's the best way you can manifest, you know um you know while the new moon is most definitely in this sign you know like i said pisces is all about your feelings and your emotions and um intuition and creativity natural psychic abilities most definitely tap into your psychic abilities and just try to just ask the universe to give you a sign, give you a message. You know, what do, if you don't know your purpose, what am I here for? What am I, what is my purpose for? What am I here sent to do? Give me a sign in a commercial or in a book or on a YouTube video, whatever. And I'll guarantee you, the universe will definitely grant you that wish and will give you that sign. You just have to look for it. Okay, guys. Yo, um, this new moon is in Pisces. Yes, Mercury retrograde is here. And Mercury retrograde, you know, 
we'll be messing up our contracts and our communications and our technology, but it's okay. You know, don't let that stop you from manifesting. Don't let that stop you from believing, you know, cause at the end of the day, all is mental, all is mine. And we create our own realities and Mercury retrograde isn't gonna stop that, okay? You know, so if you are feeling a little stressed, if you are feeling a little down or a little depressed, it's all good. It's all gravy, you know? It's the new moon in Pisces. You know, Pisces are always in their feelings, always in their emotions, always extra sensitive, okay? We are. And um, so you might feel a little down. It's all right. Still do your, your work. Do your cleansing, do your rituals, do your manifesting, do your journaling, and all is good, okay? So, I'm going to go over to the table because I pulled some cards for us to see what the energy is going to be for um, this new moon in Pisces. So, let's get started, guys. Hey guys, before I get started, I want to clear the space. And I usually like using a singing bowl, so let's do that. What energy is gonna be surrounding us this new moon in Pisces? What energy is that's going to be surrounding us this new moon in Pisces? What energy is going to be surrounding us this new moon? And Pisces accurate reading. Accurate reading. What energies is going to be surrounding us? Pisces. Okay, what we got here? Okay. Get like two more cards and one more card. Oh, <laughs> one more card. What energy is going to be surrounding us this new moon in Pisces? Accurate. Reading, accurate reading, one more card. What reading? What energies it's going to be surrounding us this new moon? This new moon in Pisces. Okay, got justice, right? Okay, okay. Right, guys. So, this is what we have. We have the Justice card, the Death card, the Knight of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Moon, Judgment, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So, Wow, we have a lot of major arcana energy going on here. We have justice, death, the moon, and judgment. I think I'm gonna start with those first. So. First things first, that stands out to me is the moon, the moon. 
the moon. moon energy is all about illusion it's all about fantasy and fear you know and most definitely the moon is that pisces energy we have a so this is most definitely coming out with the new moon in um pisces you know so like i said mercury virtual grade also um with the new the um the new moon and pisces combine a lot of people are going to be in their feelings i just recently did a video about this energy not too long ago and it seems like this energy is still very surrounding us you know um when the moon appears you know you know um something is not right this card is a suggestion to check your environment and yourself and to not make any assumptions you know so like on my previous video i said um we need to stop making assumptions we also need to have to stop having the fear of losing something that is close to us and stop taking things personally and stop making assumptions you know um you know sometimes simply the energy of the moon herself you know so this is most definitely a um feminine energy um you know the moon card always asks can you really trust a person that is around you you know look at your circle look at your environment see who is around you that is genuinely here for you I feel like this new moon and this Mercury retrograde is going to open up a lot of people's eyes. And you are going to see people for who and what they really are. Um, you know, the moon also may be a signal to you that someone behind the scenes trying to secretly sabotage you, your work, and your reputation. So, yeah, you're most definitely going to see people for who they are um that this energy is still surrounding us you know your mood is going to be tending to rise and fall and change quickly where one minute feeling can create a whirlwind of change you may later regret you know wait for things to become clearer before proceeding so proceed with caution you know we need to always make sure that whatever we are feeling we um don't react on our emotions and we always need to make sure that we proceed with caution and think before we react and this moon is most definitely telling you this moon is also about the unknown and the darkness you know maybe you need to do some shadow work you know um see what's going on within do some meditation some shadow work you know explore the unknown explore the unknown and um yeah that's what i'm getting from this the moon energy then we have judgment another major arcana um card judgment um so the judgment card we have the judgment card the judgment and the moon card actually go hand in hand a little bit you know because you are most definitely this is a revelation is eye-opening and life-changing and will affect how you decide to move forward this card represents the truth seeing people and things for what they are you know you can't hide things under the rug anymore because the rug has been ripped up and all is being refilled you know um new doors are opening and for many this will feel like a total rebirth a total rebirth you know oh my god so the moon i feel like once you do your shadow work and you find out the unknown and release fear and release things that no longer serve you judgment you're going to a lot of people a lot of things are going to be revealed for you you know um um a growth cycle is ending in your life but with that comes rebirth and more important awareness you are wiping the stale the slate clean and starting over fresh 
with a new version of who you are and now. You know, the judgment card requires that you see yourself and your surroundings for what they are. You know, judgment shows up when you are experiencing major revelations, changes, and milestones in your life. So you most definitely going, you are most definitely changing. Um, the old ways are no longer serving you. This much retrograde is most definitely going to open up your eyes, make you slow down, make you think. You know, um, this new moon in Pisces is most definitely going to slow you down and make you think. Your emotions are going to be extremely heightened. You know, um, so yeah. And then we have death. Ugh death death card is also about endings this is freaking amazing guys card is all about complete and total transformation oh my god it is one you know this is it, it reveals that the circumstances around you have entered into a new cycle of purging cleansing and releasing something around you oh my god this is amazing you know um a new beginning death card is symbolic and representation of the process occurring in your life now with any kind of other form so you might you might have picked up a new hobby that is helping you you're probably meditating more you're probably saying your affirmations doing the the work and you in this and what no longer serves you is most definitely going to come to an end you know, um, you may be forced out of a situation or find yourself in the midst of a total transformation as part of your life um, and as part of something that is meant for you to grow. You know, with death, it's important to remain open and to these changes, even if they seem to your, you know, even if it seems hard at first, you know, maybe a lifestyle that you grown accustomed to is not good for you and it doesn't serve you anymore but it's hard for you to let it go maybe it's a relationship maybe it's a friendship maybe it's a family member they're toxic in your life and you are like okay i know they need to leave but i'm not ready to leave I'm not ready to move on. I'm not ready to let it go. But this card is saying, okay, boo, it's time to let it go. You got to um, move on. And this is the only way you're going to grow. You know, like I said, death and death is a complete transformation. You know, it is most definitely a big card in the Major Arcana deck. You know, um, cleansing, you know, releasing, you know, you can do a releasing spell today. I mean, well, not today, but you could do a releasing. Well, you could do a releasing spell any day. It doesn't matter what day it is. You know, I know the full moon is all about releasing. So I hope you guys watch my full moon video about releasing rituals you can do. But you can also do a releasing ritual for this new moon, you know, as well. And release what doesn't serve you or it's not working for you anymore. You know, because, you know, maybe it's a career. Maybe it's a work, you know. Maybe the, the, the work that you're doing isn't serving you you know something maybe something is coming to an end and the universe is preparing you for a new beginning you know this is a wonderful sign if you have been setting intentions to create major change in your life you know so but if you are to be laid off from your job it can definitely bring disappointment too so you know Either way, you are reaching an end experience. Um, so, you know, if you are going to lose your job, the universe is letting you know, we got you. You're, this is all ab about your cleansing and your your um, situation. This is all for the better. This is all for the greater good. And you are going to be just fine. The universe always have faith in the universe that they will that the universe will always have your back no matter what okay 
and then we have justice justice so after you have done the cleansing and the releasing then you have justice then you have the balance in your life that you have been waiting for i just recently did a um daily tarot one card daily tarot spread and the justice card came out and this card is all about balance you know um this most definitely have that so if someone done you wrong justice most definitely is coming their way they are not going to get away with it at all um you know the justice card is most definitely the sign of libra you know so paying attention to your balance is indicated you know um when justice appears you know in a personal reading it is a call to emotional distance yourself so you can make fair and just decisions you know weighing your pros and your 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 cons of a particular action in your life you know um justice is unemotional sometimes so you know you know like i said the justice card represent energy around you determining what your punishment or reward should be just like mercury retrograde you know mercury is all about karma so if you is someone has done you wrong their karma is most definitely going to come but if you have done someone else wrong that karma is going to come to you but if also if you have been putting out good karma and loving people and respecting them and showing them respect that karma is going to come your way too it's all about karma it's all about karma good or bad karma so you you're good <laughs> you know you after all the cleansing um the cleansing with the moon and judgment and then the death of things ending and coming to a conclusion with the judgment in the death card then you have justice then you have your balance okay guys so that is the major arcana cards coming in okay now we're going to move over to these cards right here these beautiful lovely um have that nine of pentacles the queen of wands and the knight of swords oh yes baby this is great so with the nine of pentacles i'm going to start off with the nine of pentacles you have done the cleansing and the releasing and the balancing in your life this is your reward you know you are in a phase in your life right now where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor you know um pentacle shows um a woman walking through the gar garden feeling walking through the garden feeling like a queen you know she's looking at all that she has worked to accomplish she feels grateful safe and secure and so well taken care of you know um the nine of pentacles is showing you what you are working towards or have currently achieved so you are most definitely working towards abundance and it's going that those long nights and those early mornings are going to pay off you have to have faith that is most definitely going to pay off you know others may look from the outside and tell you how lucky you are but really you know it took a lot for you to get this you know this success didn't happen overnight you worked hard for it you worked your butt to get where you're at like once all of this the judgment and the the um the justice card and and um the moon card once you do your shadow work and your releasing work and releasing things and people that no longer serve you that's holding you black back that's blocking your blessing you're going to shine bright like a freaking diamond okay um you know nine of pentacles give you permission to take 
the alone time you need you're going to be going on vacation you know having peace and quiet and enjoying the fruits of your labor because you worked for it you know you may find yourself you know like i said going on a solo trip traveling you know taking a retreat or spending time in nature you know um the pentacles are ruled by the element of earth so nature is where you will most likely find yourself being restored you know so yeah um this nine of pentacles is most definitely a beautiful card and i love when she comes out to play with us and i feel like this most definitely is a great card after you do the releasing after you um, doing the cleansing and everything is going to fall into play and then we have the queen of wands energy is all about determination inspiration passion you know the queen is about charm and having faith the queen of wands is an outgoing beautiful exciting and visually striking she is natural she naturally draws people to her so once this baby you're going to people are going to see your growth people are going to see you your glow make them like oh my god you change like you really changed and how did you do it people are going to ask some questions how did you do it how did you you let not too long ago you were down you're depressed you were looking like a hell and now you you are looking amazing you have grown so much people are going to want to know what you have been doing you know um the you're going to have qualities of creativity and clarity and integrity and inspires those around you you know you're going to be very thoughtful and hardworking, independent and self-assured and honest you know this energy is sensitive um to the feelings of others and lends wisdom and support to others in their endeavors you know um you are going to be inspiring influence and maybe entering entering your life you know a lot of good people you're going to attract a lot of good people in your life you know um the queen of wands asks you to be confident and share and share your light with others as well as your ideas you know um don't hold your enthusiasm back you are at a point in your life where you are getting a chance to infuse new meaning and adventure into your everyday activities you know um so you once you take your solo trip once you get into nature once you start um releasing releasing and cleansing yourself you know the nine of pentacles will show up and then the queen of wands will show up you know and you are most definitely going to be most definitely going to be shining bright like a diamond people are going to be drawn to you people are going to be wanting to know how did you overcome your circumstances how did you get where you are at you know and people are going to be inspired and by you and want to be like you so yeah this is what i'm getting from the queen of wands and then we have the knight of swords the knight of swords energy you know even though you are going to be having success and in your knight of swords is just a reminder of one last action and a battle you know the king and the indicates that and a sword um energy you know is just a one last reminder from the universe that a battle is most definitely might come to action you know future battle um you know resolving a problem you know this is a force that's usually temporary in your life but it is very energetic 
and it boosts courage so you know you will prevail you know so you know you might have a little people that might be jealous of your success and might try to stop you from that success but you will win you will prevail you know you may have been relying heavily on your emotions and feelings but um those have a tendency to change or can sometimes lock you in a situation that you need to move away from you know the knight of swords knows exactly what you want and you need to learn how to cl clearly articulate it to others so there will be no misunderstandings you know this will nip any potential problems in the bud before they have a chance to develop into larger headaches so you know like i said nothing is set in stone and you know sometimes we all live in the will of fortune i'm surprised the will of fortune card didn't come you know come out but um everything will come out successful but sometimes you know when when things come with success more problems you know more levels new devils you know a lot of people are probably not going to like the fact that you are successful going to be hating on your success and that's okay that's okay you know sometimes everyone has a hater everyone has a hater you know sometimes everybody has a hater has um people in their lives that hate that's fine that's okay you know that's when you know you're succeeding that's no that's when you know you're being successful because everybody should have some haters in their lives you know no one in this world is going to not have haters the most successful people in the world have haters you know and have naysayers and um but that's fine they're nobody they're temporary you're still going to succeed you're still going to be successful you know once you do your releasing and your cleansing you know so i just i feel like this new moon and pisces energy is most definitely going to bring out nothing but positive um things for you and for us and yeah i and this is the energy that is surrounding us for this new moon i hope that card reading helped you guys in any way and gave you a clear um point of view of the energies that will be so probably and most likely will be surrounding us this new moon in um pisces but like i said before do not let mercury retrograde disco discourage you from doing your rituals from um lighting your candles from taking your spiritual baths from journaling scripting okay don't let that stop you. You know, um, it probably won't manifest right away, but it will come, okay? So yeah, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, if you like more videos like this, check out my playlist. It's called Alicia Pink Spirituality. And um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Everything is down in the description box. And thank you guys for watching. Bye, have a lovely day.